Welcome to Lakeview Lakers, and we are learning how to make neurographic art. Woohoo! All right, we are exploring how to make neurographic art here at Lakeview. And what does neurographic art mean? Well, it kind of looks like neurons. Uh, the nerve cells that uh, make up your brain and the nerve cells that make up your uh, motor neurons, things of that nature. And so we make creations that look like this and then we add color to them. They can be all sorts of cool little shapes and forms. Um, I've got about a hundred of them here that I've made so far and I think they're really fun to work with and to be involved with. So we are going to explore this today all right we're back and neurographic art so i start by making a line that is woogity and woogity and it goes throughout my paper and there is my first woogity line i am going to make a series of two or three or four more of those and my woogity lines will go and they can copy each other they can go where i want but we want them to cross from time to time so there's my second one, and I'm going to make three. All right, so I've made a series of four lines. They're woogity. They go through. They go through at weird angles and whatnot. But now I'm going to do something called uh, create nexuses. So where the line crosses right here, I am going to imagine I'm riding my bike down, and instead of stopping at the corner and taking a right, I'm going to round the corner off like I do on a bike. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to come to my corner and I'm going to round it off and I'll fill that in. Then I'm going to go to this corner and I round the corner off and I go to this corner and I make that now becomes what we call a nexus or it becomes a series of connecting points. So everywhere I have one of those, I'm going to round my corner. I can make the round more severe. I can make it less severe. It just depends on what, how I want to do this creativity, creatively, uh, creatively. Um, so here I go again, I'm rounding my corner, I'm rounding my corner, and then I'm going to come back and round this one. Now I have another nexus. So I'm going to go about and just... all right. So I have gone through and I have added 20 more, uh, circles, uh, and, and I've rounded off nexus points and it becomes an organic shape at this point. It's pretty cool. Now I can take a cylinder and I could draw a circle that goes over a spot like this. And then I can incorporate this circle right in. I could make it thicker by using the thicker part of my marker and adding that circle in. And then wherever that combines, now I can round the corners on that and make that into a more organic shape that just connects and becomes a part of that original nexus of material. Imagine uh, that this is like a lightning bolt and it's spattering stuff all over the place. I'm gonna add a couple more of these. All right, now I've added a whole bunch of them. Um, I'm gonna come back with a white calligraphy pen and I'm just gonna start to color in some spaces. Uh, I am fortunate enough that I have white and I'm using it on a dark piece of paper. You could do it, uh, this is like gar uh, paper bag from the grocery store paper, but I'm gonna color in some more areas with white. And now, as you can see, I've got it all colored in with, um, I could choose to use crayons. I could choose to use, um, I've got crayons here. I could choose to do this, um, or I could use markers. And for right now, I'm just going to go the simple route. I'm going to use markers, and um, I'm just going to start adding some color. So I'm going to add color in spots, and I might add more, and I will just continue to add and bring in more color. Got a whole bunch of uh, red violet put in. Now I'm going to put in some purple. And the purple is going to probably be a real dark color. So I'm not going to use a lot of it because I want this to be a little brighter. But I'm going to put it in spots that makes a difference. And I'm just randomly coloring at this point. 
Um, seeing where I like this color. Now I'm bringing in some green. And I'll probably add a little swath of blue. But I'm going to add some green. And now you've seen I've added some blue. And I'm going to do something a little different here. I'm going to come back. I'm going to take a little bit of my red. And I'm going to add some red. I'm going to curve. Put a little bit around the outside. Makes it look like it's raised a little bit. I'm not going the whole way so that it gets it gets the feeling that some of it is raised up and some of it isn't. And it just adds another layer of color. I'm going to come through and do that with my other colors too. All right, so here is my uh, neural graphic art. I could leave the background exactly as it is or I could add more. Um, on, I want to show you a couple other of examples. On this one here, I just took and made a scribble. I didn't do anything fancy other than I started with a scribble. So I took my line and I went, woo! And then I, whoop! And then I started making my nexus points. Round in the corner. And it has a totally different feel when you do it on white paper as it does to that colored paper. But that's a simple little nexus point on a scribbled sheet of paper. I also did a bubble letter. So if you remember how to do bubble letters, let's just go the word art. Woo! Here's A-R-T. And it stands for art. Yep. So, okay, I got my simple bubble letter. I'm going to put those in. Now I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just going to scribble a little bit. I'm going to bring my line that goes through. And it crosses a few times. And I might bring another one. Okay, now I can start making nexus points. So where that one crosses, where that one crosses, those all get nexus points. And I round the corners. And I make those nexus points huge or little, depending on what I want. And that's up to me. So like even here, I could thicken this up and make this one go big on the outside. I could even make this one go off into a tail and then round it. See how I did that one? I just made that one all... So now the word art is going to really start to come out cool. I could even, if I wanted to, I could make the letters for art thicker. So they were like those circles that I did before. And then the word art will stand out a little more as it goes through the nexus. And it's just a really cool way of making words and, um, oh, you know, what the heck, we'll make a line go there. So as you are making, you can, you can create and go any which way that you want. So that was just one simple way. Um, I've got one other way that I'm going to show you. Um, but now I could start to color this in. Ooh, look at that. That could become a hole. And I could put one there. All right. So that's the word art. And I could keep going with that. Another thing that I've done is I've taken a series of shapes. So like I started with some triangles. I overlapped a few. I made some separate. I made some smaller. Made some bigger. But wherever I get those connections, those, those points where they go together, I get a nexus point. So now I'm going to round that corner. I'm going to round this corner. I'm going to round that corner. And I think it's kind of fun to go like this and make those corners go just a little farther. I'm going to turn it just a little bit so you can see, so I can make that a little easier for you. So now I can make a whole bunch of those, and you can see how they're going to make. There's a rounded corner. Make that a little smoother. I can bring my point out. 
And this one, I'm going to make my corner really big. I could make this a really thick triangle. And just by making it thicker, it creates a different, um, it just makes the whole picture look differently when you have such a, a graphic shape. Make some corners, and then I like to pull those corners out. Make my corner, make my corner go down this time. And I make this one go up and off the page. Woo. All right, you just see how this is working? So there's a lot of cool things. Now, I could stop with just those shapes, or I could even add a couple lines that just break the shapes up. That might mean I need one over here. And then I'm just going to keep filling this in and working on it. And then when I get to that point, I can start to color it in and make really cool images. So that becomes up to you how you want these things to look in color. I think they're really fun in color. Like here's one I did with my name. That's in color. Here's a series of triangles that I did in color. And this is another one that I'm starting to do in color. So I'm just going to remind you, it is neural graphic art. This was Lakeview Lakers and uh, Brain Break and also painting class. And whoever wants to do this, this is a great opportunity for you to just have 